Hello guys Xin chào mọi người ạ à. So today I be doing the next part of the book Being in Love uh, by Osho Attraction and position. Okay, wait a second. There are a few very fundamental things to be understood. First, a man and a woman are on the one hand halves of the other, and one on the other hand opposite polarities. Their being opposites attracts them to each other. The farther away they are, the deeper will be the attraction. The more different from each other they are, the more will be the charm and beauty and attraction. But there lies the whole problem. When they come closer, they want to come closer. They want to merge into each other. They want to become one, a harmonious whole, but their whole attraction depends on opposition. And the harmony will depend on dissolving the problem, uh, the opposition. Unless a love affair is very conscious, it is going to create great anguish, great trouble. All, loves are in, all lovers are in trouble. The trouble is not personal. À, em không thấy bên phải của trang sách. Bên này là bên phải đấy à? Bên trái nè. Dạ. Chữ giờ không chuyển cách đọc khi đứng trước à, đứng trước gì đây à, chữ giờ khi khi đứng trước uể oải thì nó chuyển thành di bạn nhá uể oải trong cái uh, trong cái cái um, phiên âm quốc tế ấy, chứ không phải là uể uh, oải trong cái uh, chữ cái đâu nha ví dụ ha Uh, sorry mọi người mình mình nói thêm một cái này nữa là ví dụ chữ uh, university là chữ trường đại học ấy thì bắt đầu cũng bằng chữ u đúng không ạ chữ u đúng không ạ nhưng mà chúng ta sẽ đọc là the university chứ không phải là the university bởi vì cái phiên âm quốc tế của chữ u ở trong phiên âm quốc uh, ở ở trong phiên âm quốc tế ấy, thì nó chuyển thành chữ u mà khi mà chữ u đứng đầu câu ấy thì nó sẽ chuyển thành cái uh, ta phụ âm cho nên chúng ta sẽ giữ nguyên nhé uh, đoạn nào nhà đoạn nào nhà mình đọc the attraction đúng không ta uh, đoạn nào depends on opposition Cả trang đây này, cả trang đây này bạn Cả trang này nhá Đây ạ Cả trang đây này <cười> Bạn ơi, bạn đã nhìn thấy chưa ạ? Oh, thank you for following my TikTok channel Đây, cả trang đây ạ rồi ok à, mình sẽ cố gắng tại vì cái cái bản này là bản mình uh, in ra ấy, uh, sách mình không mua được uh, cho nên là nó sẽ in ra thì nó sẽ hơi to nhá à vậy hả đọc chữ the ở đâu ta uh, house of the other the other rồi the attraction à ok Alright, all lovers are in trouble. The trouble is not personal. It is in the very nature of things. 
They would not have been attracted to each other. They call it falling in love. They cannot give any reason why they have such a tremendous pull toward each other. They are not even conscious of the underlying causes. Hence, a strange thing happened. Happens the happiness. Happiest lovers are those who never meet. Once they meet, the same opposition that created the attraction becomes a conflict. Ah, uh, này thì mình đọc là gì? Attraction, bạn nhá. On each sm- small point, their attitudes are different. Their approaches are different. Although they speak the same language, language. They cannot understand each other. One of my friends was talking to me about his wife and his conti- and their continuous conflict. I said, "It seems you cannot understand each other." He said, "What do you, what to say about understanding her? I cannot even stand her, and it was a love marriage, not arranged." The parents of both were opposed to it. They belonged uh, to two different religions. Their societies was were opposed to any. Okay, mình sẽ cố gắng canh cái cái trang ở giữa vào đây nhé. Intermarriage between them, but they fought against everybody and got married, only to find that they had entered into a constant struggle. The way the male might looks at the world is different from the female might. For example. The male mind is interested in faraway things, in the future of humanity, in a faraway stars, whether they are living beings on the other on other planets or not. A feminine mind simply giggles at the whole nonsense. She is only interested in a small, close circle around her, in their neighbors, in the family. In uh, who is cheating on his wife? Whose wife has fallen in love with the chauffeur? Chauffeur. He interest is local. Her interest is local and human. She is not worried about reincarnation. Neither in neither she. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it again. She is not worried about reincarnation. Neither is she concerned about life after death. The feminine concerns are more pragmatic, pragmatic, more concerned with the present, with the here and now. A man is never here and now. He is always somewhere else. He has strange. Preoccupation, reincarnation, life after death, life or in other planets. If both partners are are conscious of the fact that it is a meeting of opposites, that there is no need to make it a conflict. Then it is a great opportunity to understand the totally opposite point of view and absorb it. Then the life of a man and woman together can become a beautiful harmony. Otherwise, it is continuous fight. There are holidays. One cannot continue to fight twenty-four hours a day. One needs a little rest too, a rest to get ready for a new fight. But it is one, 
of the strangest phenomena that for thousands of years, men and women have been living together, that they are strangers. They go on giving birth to children, but still remain, still they remain strangers. The feminine approach and the masculine approach are so opposed to each other that unless a conscious effort is made, unless it becomes your meditation, there's no hope of having a peaceful life. It is one of my deep concerns. How to make love and meditation so involved in each other that each love affair automatically becomes a partnership in meditation, and each meditation makes you so conscious that you need not fall in love; you can rise in love. You can find a friend consciously, deliberately. Your love will deepen as your meditation deepens, and vice versa. As your meditation blossoms, your love will also blossom. But it is only on it is on a totally different level. But most couples are not connected in meditation. They never sit silently for one hour together just to feel each other's consciousness. Either they are fighting or they are making love. But in both cases, they are related with the body, the physical part, the biology, the hormones. They are not related with the innermost core of the other. Their souls remain separate. In the temples and in the churches and in the courts, only your bodies are married. Your souls are miles apart. Why you are making love to your partner, even in those common moments, neither are you there nor. Is your partner there? Perhaps the man is thinking of Cleopatra, some movie actress, and perhaps that's why every woman keeps her eyes closed not to see her husband's face, not to get disturbed. But she is thinking of Alexander the Great, Ivan the Terrible, and looking at her husband. Everything falls apart. He looks like a mouse. Even in those beautiful moments, which should be sacred, meditative, or a deep of deep silence, even then you are not alone with your beloved. There is a crowd. Your mind is thinking of somebody else. Your partner's mind is thinking of somebody else. Then what you are doing is just robot-like, mechanical. Some biological force is enslaving you, and you call it love. I have heard that early in the morning, a drunkard on the beach saw a man doing push-ups. The drunkard walked around him, looked very closely from here and from there, and finally said. I shall not interfere in such an、uh, intimate affair, but I have to tell you that your girlfriend has gone. That seems to be the the situation. When you are making love, is your woman really there? Is your man really there? Or are you just doing a ritual, something which has to be done, a duty to be fulfilled? If you want a harmonious relationship with your partner, you will have to learn to be more meditative. Love alone is not enough. 
Love alone is blind. Meditation gives it eyes. Meditation gives it understanding. And once your love is both love and meditation, you become fellow travelers. Then it is no longer an ordinary relationship. Then it becomes a friendliness on the path towards discovering the mysteries of life. Thank you for follow me, my TikTok channel. Men alone, women alone, will find the journey very tedious, tedious and very long. As they have found it in the past, because seeing this continuous conflict, all the all the religion religions decided that those who wanted to seek should renounce the other. The monks should be celebrate, celebrate. The nuns should be celebrate. But in five thousand years of history, how many monks and how many nuns have become realized souls? You cannot give even give me names enough to count on ten fingers, and there have been millions for monks and nuns of all religions, but his. Hindu, Christian, Mormon, Maiden, what has happened? The path is not so long. The goal is not that far away. But when, but even if you want to go to your neighbor's house, you will need both your legs. Just jumping on one leg, how far you can go? Men and women together in deep friendship. In a loving, meditative relationship, as organic hosts, can reach the goal any moment they want, because the goal is not outside you. It is the tense center of the cyclone. It is the innermost part of your being, but you can find it only when you are whole, and you cannot be whole without the other. Man and woman are two parts of one whole. So rather than wasting time in fighting, try to understand each other. Try to put yourself in the place of the other. Try try to see as a man sees. Try to see as a woman sees. And four eyes are always better than two eyes. You have a full view. All four directions are available to you. But one thing has to be remembered: that without meditation, love is destined to fail. There's no possibility of it being a success. A success. I'm sorry. A success. You can pretend that you can deceive others, but you cannot deceive yourself. You know deep down that all the promises love had given to you have remained unfulfilled. Only with meditation does love start taking on new colors, new music, new songs, new dances, because meditation gives you. A, The insight to understand the polar opposite, and in that very understanding, the conflict disappears. All the conflicts in the world is because of misunderstanding. You say something, your why and. I'm sorry. The wife understands something else. Your wife says something. You understand something else. I have seen couples who have lived together for thirty or forty years. Still, they seem to be as immature as they were on their first day together. Still, in the same complaint, she doesn't understand what I am saying. For the years being together, and you have not been able to figure out.
some way that your wife can understand exactly what you are saying, and you can understand exactly what she is saying. But I think there's no possibility for it to happen except through meditation. Because meditation gives you the qualities of silence, awareness, a patient listening, a capacity. I'm sorry, a capacity to put yourself in the other position. Things are not impossible, but we are not tried to try the right medicines. I'd like to you to be reminded that the word medicine comes from the same root as meditation. Medicine cures your body. Meditation cures your soul. Medicine heals the material part of you. So meditation heals the spiritual part of you. People are living together, and their spirits are full of wounds. Hence, small things hurt them so much. Mula Nasruddin was asking me, "What to do? Whatever I say, I am misunderstood, and immediately there's trouble." I said, "Try one thing: just sit silently, don't say anything." The next day. I saw him in more despair than ever. Ever, I said, "What happened?" He said, "I should not ask for you for advice. Every day we used to fight and quarrel, but it was just verbal. Yesterday, because of your advice, I got beaten." I said, "What happened?" He said. I just sat there silent. She asked many questions, but I was determined to remain silent. She said, "So you are not going to speak?" I remained silent. So she started hitting me with things, and she was very angry. She said, "Things have gone from bad to worse. At least we used to talk to each other. Now even." Where where I put? Okay, now even we are not on speaking terms. The whole neighborhood gathered, and they are start asking, "What happened? Why aren't you speaking?" And somebody suggested, "It seems he is possessed by some evil spirit." I thought, "My God, now they are going to take me to some idiot who will." Beat me and try to drive me evil spirit out. I said, "Wait, I'm not possessed by any evil spirit. I'm simply not speaking because to say anything triggers a fight. I say something, then she has to say something, and then I have to say something, and nobody knows where is going to end." I was simply meditating silently, doing no harm to anybody, and suddenly the whole neighborhood was against me. People are living without any understanding. Hence, whatsoever they do is going to end in disaster. If you love a man, meditation will be the best present that you can give to him. If you love a woman, then the key he knows is nothing. Meditation will be a far more precious gift, and it will make your life sheer joy. We are potentially capable of sheer joy, but we don't know to manage it.
Alone, we are at the most sad. Together, it becomes really hell. Even a man like Jean Paul Sartre, a man of great intelligence, has to say that the other is hell. That to be alone is better. You cannot make it with the、uh, the other. He became so pessimist pessimistic that he said it is impossible to make it with the other. The other is hell. Ordinary, ordinarily, he's right. With meditation, the other becomes your heaven. But Jean Paul Sartre had no idea of meditation. That is the misery of Western man. Western man is missing the flowering of life, life because he knows nothing about meditation. And Eastern man is missing because he knows nothing of love. And to me, Jews as men as and women are halves of one whole. So are love and meditation. Meditation is men. Love is women. In the meeting of meditation and love is the meeting of men and women. And in that meeting, we create the transcendental human being. Which is neither man nor woman, and unless we create the transcendental man on the earth, there is no much hope. You have spoken about the ultimate harmony to be found in what seem to be opposite, but I feel that hate destroys love and anger, kills compassion. When these extreme extremists are fighting inside me, how can I find harmony? You are caught in a misunderstanding. If hate destroys love and anger destroys compassion, then there's no possibility for love or compassion to exist. Then you are caught. Then you cannot get out of it. You have lived with hate for millions of lives, so it must have destroyed love already. You have lived with anger for millions of lives, so it must have murdered compassion already. But look, love is still there. Hate comes and goes, and love survives. Anger comes and goes, and compassion survives. Hate has not been able to destroy love. Night has not been able to destroy day, and darkness has not been able to murder the light. No, say they survive. So the first thing to understand is that love and compassion have not been destroyed. This, the second thing to understand the harmony of opposites will be possible only later on when you really love. You have not really love. That is the trouble. No hate. Hate is not the trouble. The trouble is that you have not really loved. Darkness is not the trouble. The trouble is that you don't have light. If light is there, darkness disappears. You have not loved. Your you fantasize, you imagine, you dream, but you have not loved.、Mm. Đúng rồi, rất là nhiều người trong chúng ta không biết được là yêu là gì và không biết được tình yêu là gì đấy mọi người. phải mất một thời gian rất là lâu hoặc là trải nghiệm cực kỳ nhiều thì chúng ta mới hiểu được à thế nào là là một tình yêu love 
I'm not saying that just by loving, the hate will immediately disappear. No, hate will fight against you because everybody wants to survive. Hate will struggle. The more you love, the stronger hate will come back with its struggle. But you will be surprised to discover that the hate comes and goes. It doesn't kill your love, rather. It makes love stronger. Love can absorb hate also. If you love a person, in some moments you can hate the same person, but that doesn't in destroy love. It brings a richness to love. What is hate, in fact? It is a tendency to go away. What is love? A tendency to come closer. Mm. Hate, hate is a tendency to separate, a tendency to divorce. Love is tendency is a tendency to marry, to come near, to become closer, to become one. Hate is to become two, independent. Love is to become one, interdependent. Mm. Oh, so, so nice. Whenever you hate, you go away from your lover, from your beloved. But in ordinary life, going away is needed to come back again. Đi thật xa để trở về đấy các bạn. Đi thật xa, à, chia tay một thời gian. Đi thật xa để trở về để hiểu được tình yêu là gì đấy mọi người. Oh. So sweet. <cười> Dịch được không ạ? À? Em không hiểu. À em hỏi đoạn nào ạ? À? Đây, à, đoạn đoạn cuối cùng mà đoạn hồi nãy cô vừa ấy nhá. À, ghét bỏ là cái Vậy, vậy sự thật của việc ghét bỏ là gì? À, ghét bỏ là ý định rời đi. Vậy thì yêu là gì? Tình yêu là gì? Tình yêu là ý định à, tiến tới gần bên nhau hơn. À, ghét bỏ là ý định chia xa, là ý định ly, ly thân, ly hôn. À, tình yêu là ý định cưới, là ý định à, xích lại gần nhau, là ý định à, gần gũi với nhau hơn, là ý định trở thành, trở thành một. À, sự ghét bỏ là trở thành hai người một cách độc lập uhm, depend dependent là là không độc lập với independent là độc lập à, còn tình yêu yêu là gì yêu là trở thành à, thành một người và à, và dựa dẫm vào nhau ha? interdependent là dựa dẫm vào nhau à, khi nào mà bạn ghét thì bạn sẽ à, đi xa khỏi người bạn yêu khỏi cái tình yêu của bạn nhưng mà Ordinary life à, Trong cuộc sống hàng ngày á, Thì đi xa là điều cần thiết Để trở về Được không ạ? Được không ạ? Cảm ơn các bạn Cảm ơn các bạn Cảm ơn các bạn Cảm ơn các Tiếp nha Đi xa là để trở về, đi xa là điều cần thiết để trở về Giống như là cho nhau một khoảng thời gian uh, tĩnh tâm lại kiểu đấy It is just like when you eat You are hungry, so you eat Then hunger goes because you have eaten When you, when you, love, a, when you love a person, it is like food Love is food, very softer, spiritual But it is food and it nourishes you When you love a person, the hunger subsides. You feel satiated. Satiated. Then suddenly, the impulse to go away arises, and you separate. But then you will feel hungry again. You would like to come nearer, closer to love, to fall into each other.
you eat, then for a few hours you forget about food. You don't go on sitting in the kitchen. Cảm ơn các bạn. Cảm ơn em ạ. Thank you. You you eat, then for a few hours you forgot about food. You don't go on sitting in the kitchen. You don't go on sitting in the restaurant. You go away. Then after a few hours, suddenly you start coming back. Hunger is rising. Bị mất chữ bên trái. Bị mất chữ bên trái. Này được chưa em? Nếu cô đọc nhanh quá thì em bảo cô đọc lại nha. Nếu mình đọc, nếu tớ đọc nhanh quá các bạn bảo tớ đọc lại nhá. À, tớ đọc chậm lại nha. Tên cuốn sách tiếng Anh này ở đâu vậy ạ? À? À, dạ, thú thật là cái này mình photo ra ý. <cười> à, thứ nhất là bây giờ mình mua ở pha xa thì nó hết hàng rồi. À, và thứ hai thì cuốn sách này khá là đắt bạn ạ. À. À, sách này hình như là 390.000 hay là 400.000 gì đấy Tầm đấy ạ Nên nó khá là đắt à, Với cả là tớ cũng định mua Cơ mà pha xa hết hàng và đây không có hàng nữa Quyển sách này được dịch sang tiếng Việt à, Có tên là Yêu của Osho Đấy các bạn Love has two faces One of hungry and one of satiety Satiate Ừ, mình đọc cái này đúng không? À, chữ này thì không phải là satiate nữa mà chữ này là satiety. Love has two faces, one of hunger and one of so, uh, satiety. Satiety, à, từ này có nghĩa là bị no, bị ngấy ấy, mọi người. À, cô luyện accent như thế nào vậy ạ? À? À, dạ, à, sao nhỉ? Cô luyện accent hả? Accent của cô là như vậy rồi ấy Nói như thế này có bị sai không nhỉ? <cười> yeah Từ bé đã là như vậy rồi ừ, Rồi, à thật ra là Accent của cô thì đã như vậy rồi Nhưng để đọc mượt như thế này Thì cô phải rèn luyện ra Một quá trình rất là dài đấy em ạ à, Học phiên âm quốc tế này rồi uh, học uh, cách nối âm này Rồi học cách đánh trọng âm này Rồi lên xuống Trọng âm lên xuống trong một câu luôn này uh, Rồi em xin tên sách với ạ à. Tên sách là Being in Love Của Osho nhé um, Tớ có ghi ở uh, Tớ có ghi ở, ở uh, Cái tiêu đề của livestream ấy ạ à. Không biết là có có hiện không Tên sách là uh, nhá, tên sách là Being in Love, uh, yêu. Tôi có sách giọng truyền cảm này và cảm ơn ạ. Mình đọc tiếp nha. Love has two faces, one of hungry and one of satiety. You misunderstand love. Cô có thi IELTS chưa ạ? Ôi, IELTS cô có thi rồi nhá, đợt vừa rồi, không hiểu làm sao thi được có 6.5 thôi Mặc dù trước đó thì cao hơn Cô sẽ thi lại ạ Cô phúc khảo lại nhưng mà không có tiền <cười> à... Alright. You misunderstand love as only hungry. Once you understand that there is no hate, but only a situation uh, to create hunger, then hate becomes part of love.
Then it enriches love. Then anger becomes part of compassion. It enriches compassion. A compassion without any possibility of anger will be impotent. It will have no energy in it. A compassion with the possibility of anger has strength. Stamina. Stamina. Where? A love without the possibility of hate will become stale. Then the partnership will look like an imprisonment. You cannot get away. A love with hate has a freedom in it. It never becomes stale. In the mathematics of life, divorces have been happen because every day you go on postponing them. Then divorce goes on accumulating, and one day the marriage is completely killed by it, destroyed by it. If you understand me, I would suggest to you not to you not to wait. Every day, divorce and remarry. It should be a rhythm, just like day and night, hunger and. No way. No way. Đâu rồi nhỉ? Okay, mình, I'm going to make this this uh, passage again. In the mathematics of life, the divorces happen because every day you go on postponing him. À đúng rồi, hunger and satiety có nghĩa là đói và no đấy em ạ. À. Cơn đói và cơn no ấy. Dạ cô live vào 10 giờ tới 11 giờ nhá. Tạm thời là vậy. À, mai mốt cô mở lớp um, dạy uh, giao tiếp với cả IELTS buổi tối rồi ý. À, thì thể, chắc là tầm 10 rưỡi là lại kiểu kiểu tầm đấy bây giờ sẽ là 11 giờ đến à, khoảng 11 rưỡi à, à, xin lỗi 10 giờ đến 11 giờ hoặc là 11 rưỡi nha tạm thời là sẽ như vậy có gì cô sẽ báo nhá Thank you for uh, follow my tiktok channel and I appreciate it alert the divorce goes on accumulating and one day the marriage is completely killed by it destroyed by it if you understand me i would suggest to you not to wait every day divorce and remarry it should it should be a rhythm just like day and night hunger and satiety summer and winter Life and death, it should be like that. In the morning, you love. In the afternoon, you hate. When you love, you really love. You totally love. When you hate, you really hate. You totally hate. And suddenly, you will find the beauty of it. The beauty is in the tot totality. A total hate is also beautiful. As beautiful as total love. A total anger is also beautiful. As beautiful as total compassion. The beauty is in totality. Anger alone becomes ugly. Hate alone becomes ugly. It is just a valley without a hill, without the peak. The peak. I'm sorry. But with the peak, the valley becomes a beautiful scene. From the peak, the valley becomes lovely. From the valley, the peak becomes lovely. You move your life river moves between these two banks. 
banks à, trong trường hợp này có nghĩa là bờ sông các bạn nha không phải là ngân hàng này banks and by and by the more and the more you understand the mathematics of life you won't think that hate is against love it is complementary complementary là là gì nhỉ là bù trừ mọi người nhé You won't think that anger is against compassion. It is a complementary. À, ok. Ghét và yêu không phải là đối nghịch. Ghét và yêu là bù trừ cho nhau. Để mình chỉnh lại cái này tí nhá. Then you don't think that rest is against work. It is complementary. Or that night is against day. It is complementary. They make a perfect whole. Because you are not loved, you are afraid of hate. You are afraid because your love is not strong enough. Hate could destroy it. Destroy it. You are not certain, really, whether you are love or not. That's why you are afraid of hate and anger. You know that it may completely shatter the whole house. You are not certain whether the house really exists or is just imagination. bạn phát âm gồng quá gồng hả gồng hả ừ. vậy chắc là đọc theo cảm xúc rồi <cười> ờ. chắc là đọc diễn cảm quá rồi ha chứ mình không gồng đâu ạ à. <cười> thả lỏng tí hả ừ mình thả lỏng mà <cười> gồng hả Gồng đôi tắc yeah. Tại vì mình đang đọc Chuyện truyền cảm ấy Đang đọc cái 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 vào cái flow của nó ấy, mọi người Alright Because you have not loved You are afraid of, afraid of love Of hate You are afraid because your love Is, is not strong enough Hate could destroy it. You are not certain, really, whether you love or not. That's why you are afraid of hate and anger. You know that that it may completely shatter the whole house. You are not certain whether the house really exists or it's just imagination, an imaginary house. If it is imagination, the hate will destroy it. If it's a, if it is real, the hate will make it stronger. After the strong storm, a silence descends. After hate, lovers are, are again fresh to fall into each other, completely fresh, as if they are meeting for the first time again, again and again. They meet again and again for the first time. Ah, cái mình sẽ không lôi cảm xúc vào trong bài đọc nữa. Nhưng mà cái này là nói về tình yêu ấy bạn. Tình yêu ấy. Lovers are always meeting for the first time. Time. If you meet a second time, then love is already getting old. Still, it is getting boring. Lovers always fall in love every day, fresh and young. You look at your women, and you cannot even recognize that you have been, you have seen her before. So new. You look at your man and he seems to be a stranger. You fall in love again. À, cô sẽ cố gắng đặt cái sách nào chỉnh em có thể à, mọi người uh, sau này đợi mình vài 
vài bữa nữa mình có hai cuốn sách photo á, à, quyển này với quyển năm ngôn ngữ của tình yêu ấy mọi người quyển being in love và quyển năm ngôn ngữ của tình yêu ấy mọi người là mình in ra rồi ấy à, đấy thì hết năm quyển à, hết hai quyển này thì mình sẽ order uh, cái sách kia ha, à, sách mà mà họ in luôn ha À, để đọc cho mọi người dễ nhìn hơn Tại vì cái này in ra nó kiểu to quá Không vừa với điện thoại của tới <cười> Hate does not destroy love It only destroys the sternness of it It is a cleaning, and if you understand, it will be grateful to it. And if you can be grateful to hate or soul, you have understood. Now nothing can destroy your love. Now you are for the first time really rooted. Now you can observe the storm and can be strengthened through it, can be enriched through it. Don't look. At life as a duality, don't look at life as a conflict. It is not. I have known. It is not. I have experienced. It is not. It is one whole, one piece, one, and everything fits in it. You have just to find out how to let them fit, how to allow them to fit, allow them to fit into each other. It is a beautiful whole. And if you ask me, there were, if there were a possibility of a world without hate, I would not choose it. It would be absolutely dead and boring. It might be sweet, but too sweet. You would hanker for salt. If a world were possible without anger, I would not choose it. Because just compassion without anger would have no life in it. The opposite gives the tension. The opposite gives the temper. When ordinary iron passes through fire, it becomes steel. Without fire, it cannot become steel. And the higher the degree of temper, temperature, the greater will be the temper. À, cô cho xem bìa sách được không ạ? Được chứ ạ? Being in love, đọc sai à, Đọc sai phần nào, đọc sai chữ nào Bạn có thể uh, góp ý dùm mình để mình đừng đọc sai nữa được không ạ? Chữ nào mình đọc sai nhỉ? Dạ vâng ạ, being in love này nhá Đọc sai chữ nào nhỉ? À, không ý là nếu mà đọc sai thì tại vì chúng ta không phải uh, uh, ai cũng đọc hết đúng hết tiếng Anh ấy um, Nếu như mà đọc sai chữ nào thì có thể uh, nhắn cho mình uh, chữ nào nhỉ? Chữ... Temperature, đúng mà uh, Tension, tension là căng thẳng uh, Đúng mà Chữ này hả? Chữ này đọc là duality Duality uh, Đúng mà Chữ nào nhỉ? Conflict, yeah Possibility <cười> Absolutely Hanker? <cười> à, ok <cười> hey, Cảm ơn mọi người đã ủng hộ mình nhé Uh, strength, strength of the steel. Hmm, like 
if you com if your compassion compassion can pass through anger, the higher the temperature of the anger, the greater the greater will be the temper and the strength of the compassion. Butter is compassionate. He is a warrior. He comes from a cái cái từ này mình không biết đọc này. Kachia hả? Kachia race. Kachia race. A samurai. He must have led a very angry life, and then suddenly compassion. The chain master Mahavir comes from a Kachia clan. On the face of it, this looks absurd, but it has a certain consist consistency to it. All the great teachers of nonviolence have come from the warrior races. They talk about nonviolence, compassion. They have lived violence. They know what violence is. They have passed through it. Only a uh, shatia. Uh, I don't know if I pronounce this word correctly. Uh -huh. A warrior, warrior who was led to fire has such a strong compassion or the possibility for it. So remember, remember if inside. Okay. Of inside your heart, these extremists are fighting. Don't choose. Allow them both to be there. Be a big house. Have enough room inside. Don't say, "I will have only uh, compassion, not anger. I will have only love, not hate." You will be empowered. Have a big heart. Let them both be there. There's no need to create a fight between them. There's no fight. The fight comes from your mind, from your teachings, upbringing, conditioning. The whole world goes on saying to you, "Love, don't hate." How can you love without hate? Jesus says. Jesus says, "Love your enemies." And I tell you, hate your lovers also. Then it becomes a complete whole. Otherwise, Jesus saying is incomplete. He say, love your enemies. You only hate your enemies, and he says you should love them also. Also, but the other part, but the other part is missing. I tell you, hate your friends also, hate your lover also, and don't be afraid. Then by and by, you will see there is no difference between the enemy and the friend, because you hate. And love the enemy, and you love and hate the friend. It will be only a question of the coin upside down or downside up. Then the friend is the enemy, and the enemy is the friend. Then distinctions simply disappeared. Don't create a fight inside. Allow them both to be there. They both, uh, they both will be needed. Both will give you two wings. Not only then you can fly. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish my today's reading here, and uh, again. Uh, the book is the Being in Love of Osho. How to love with awareness and relate without fear. Hmm. This is a book that I found it very meaningful, and then I decided to to make uh, to do my live stream and uh, read it uh, aloud for you guys uh, to listen. And I think uh, we if if there's uh. You know any words, any vocabularies that I, um, you know I pronounce uh, them wrong. Please uh, comment and tell me. Mm -hmm. I appreciate uh, you guys for doing that for me. Okay, uh, các bạn ơi, 
uh, mình cũng là mình tuy là giáo viên ấy nhưng mà sẽ có những từ chuyên ngành và sẽ có những cái từ mà mình nếu mà trước giờ chưa ấy thì mình sẽ đọc sai kiểu vậy mình không ngại sai nhá uh, mình là giáo viên tiếng anh nhưng mình là người đang trên đường rèn uh, luyện bản thân mỗi ngày để trở nên ngày một hoàn thiện hơn ấy một tốt hơn này Uhm, tại vì như thế thì mình mình đúng đã mình đúng đã rồi mình mới mang được um, các giá trị lại cho uh, người follow mình hoặc là học trò mình cụ thể học trò mình chẳng hạn nhá Thế nên là mình rất là biết ơn khi mà bạn đọc nói mình đọc sai từ nào mình sẽ chỉnh lại ngay lập tức à, trước tiên mình sẽ check uh, Oxford sẽ check từ điển đã và sau đó mình sẽ chỉnh lại liền ngay lập tức đó uh, và yeah mình rèn luyện bản thân mình mỗi ngày cho nên là mình không sợ sai nhá tất nhiên mình sẽ không có sai quá các kiểu ừ, à, kiểu đấy nhưng mà không thể tránh khỏi sai sót được which is uh, which is uh, are human beings chúng ta chỉ là con người thôi ha và mình rất là hy vọng là các bạn thấy vui khi mà mình đọc sách cho các bạn nghe à, và mình rất là biết ơn tất cả mọi người ở lại ở đây với mình để nghe mình đọc sách à, thật sự biết ơn rất là nhiều luôn Cảm ơn các bạn rất là nhiều và hẹn gặp lại mọi người vào 10 giờ tối ngày mai nhé. Mình sẽ đọc phần tiếp theo là Dropping Out of the Lonely Hearts Club nhá. Ok, uh, so I appreciate you guys. Uh, và share your life. <cười> oh, mình kết thúc live stream rồi ạ. À. Uh, ngày mai các bạn like và share dùm mình với nhé. Em không hiểu lắm nhưng vẫn thấy hay ạ à. À, à, một cái nữa là nếu như mình đọc đoạn nào mà các bạn cảm thấy là không hiểu ấy Các bạn cứ nói mình dịch lại cho các bạn nhé Mình dịch lại cho các bạn, à, tại vì mình cũng là phiên dịch à, Cho nên là mình cũng sẽ rất là thích dịch <cười> Em mình sẽ dịch lại cho các bạn nghe nếu như có đoạn nào mà các bạn cảm thấy Ồ, ở quế khứ rẻ Ồ, thính bút tưởng <cười> Thì mình sẽ sẽ dịch cho các bạn ha Ok, rồi mình chúc các bạn ngủ ngon và chúc các bạn ngủ thật ngon thật ngon. And have a good night and sleep tight everybody. Bye bye.